Ames Monument. Commissioned by the Union Pacific Railroad, the Ames Monument is a memorial to the Ames brothers, Oaks and Oliver, for the contributions to building of the Transcontinental Railroad. Their strong support, drive, and influence were instrumental in completing the Union Pacific section of the railroad. Finished in 1882, the monument is located near the highest elevation of 8,247 feet of the Transcontinental Railroad route. President Abraham Lincoln considered his signing of the Pacific Railway Act of 1862, which made building the Transcontinental Railroad possible, one of the crowning achievements of his presidency. However, by 1865, little progress was made on the construction of the Union Pacific portion of the line. Oaks Ames, admired for his willingness to take on difficult tasks, was referred to by President Lincoln as the broad-shouldered Ames. Lincoln appealed to his friend Oakes, who was a member of the Congressional Committee on Railroad, to help move his vision forward. The Ames brothers initially invested a million dollars of their own money in the railroad and encouraged their other capitalists to invest another $1.5 million. Oakes Ames, born in 1804 and laid to rest in 1873. Oakes Ames was an American businessman and member of the United States House of Representatives from Massachusetts. He became one of the most influential supporters of the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. Oakes believed strongly in Lincoln's vision that constructing the Transcontinental Railroad was vital to the nation's future. Abraham Lincoln took Oakes into his confidence. Ames, you take hold of this, the president told him. The road must be built, and you are the man to do it. Take hold of it yourself. Oliver Ames, born in 1807 and laid to rest in 1877. Oliver Ames Jr. managed the Ames Shovel Manufacturing Company. Soon after, Oliver and his brother Oakes inherited the business from their father. The discovery of gold in California, the expansion of the railroads, and the Civil War drove demand for quality shovels and made the Ames brothers wealthy men. Oliver Ames, a bright, skillful manager and a meticulous bookkeeper, served as president of the Union Pacific during construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. At first glance, the Ames Monument may seem out of place on this high, windswept setting. If you step back and view the monument from a distance, you will notice its design and shape mimic the surrounding features of the mountain landscape. The Union Pacific spared no expense in constructing the Ames Monument contracting the most renowned architect, builder, and sculptor of the time. Norcross Brothers of Worcester, Massachusetts were contracted to build a monument at a cost of $65,000. Construction took place between 1880 and 1882, using fine granite that was quarried from the Reeds Rock, located a half mile west of the monument. During the project, Construction Superintendent A.L. Sutherland and 85 workers lived on site in the town of Sherman. Draft animals were used to skid the mammoth stones, which weigh up to 20 tons apiece from the quarry. Wooden cranes were used to hoist the large stones into place. Henry Hobson Richardson, one of the most prominent architects of the time, designed the massive stone monument. He is well known for a variety of structures in Boston, Pittsburgh, Chicago, and other cities. The four-sided Ashtar Pyramid is constructed of native granite. The monument is Richardson's only work west of St. Louis and has been described as one of the architect's least known but best works. Construction of the Transcontinental Railroad across the United States was one of the most significant historic events of the 1800s. Built almost exclusively with manual labor and hand tools, the cross-country railroad took only four years to construct. Large numbers of workers were needed to survey and grade the bed and lay down the ties and rails. Union Pacific Chief Engineer General Grenville Dodge made use of geological features called the gangplank. Located 15 miles to the east as an easy grade to route the railroad across the Laramie Mountains. Construction of the Transcontinental Railroad led to settlements sprouting up along its path, an increase in population, and the creation of the Wyoming Territory. The driving of the Golden Spike at Promontory Summit in Utah on May 10, 1869, ushered in a new era in America. 
Once the rails were joined at Promontory, wrote author T.H. Watkins, we began for the first time truly to think of ourselves as a continental nation. With the completion of the railroad, passengers and freight were able to make the journey across America in a matter of days, instead of the months it had taken by wagon or ship. Sherman, Wyoming was a railroad town that existed about a quarter mile from the monument between 1867 and 1901. Sherman had a Wells Fargo Express office, a newspaper, a clothing store, two false-fronted hotels, and a bar. The town's timber mill produced thousands of ties for the railroad. In time, the Union Pacific moved the tracks three miles south to a lower elevation with less snow, bypassing the dangerous single-track bridge at Dale Creek. With the relocation of the railroad tracks, Sherman soon became a ghost town. The bridge at Dale Creek, about two miles west of Sherman, presented Union Pacific construction engineers with one of their most difficult challenges. At 706 feet in length, it was the longest and highest bridge along the Union Pacific Railroad. The wooden trestle was 125 feet above the valley floor and swayed dramatically in the wind as trains crossed. Engineers had to slow a train to four miles per hour before crossing to prevent the strong Wyoming winds from blowing empty boxcars off the bridge and into the rocky ravine below. Ames Monument cannot be seen from Interstate 80, which is not a bad thing. It requires getting off of the interstate and traveling down local and dirt roads. Get off of exit 329 and travel down Monument Road for approximately 7 miles at which point a 60 foot granite pyramid will appear, which will make one feel they are approaching the pyramids of Egypt. The Ames Monument Pyramid sits atop Sherman Summit, just outside of the ghost town of Sherman. A former Lincoln Highway stop for motorists venturing to Nebraska or continuing through the Cowboy State. At 8,247 feet, it occupies its place atop what was once the highest point on the Union Pacific and Lincoln Highway. The $65,000 monument project was designed by Henry Hobson Richardson and was completed in 1882. It features two bass relief sculptures of Ames Brothers Oaks on the east side and Oliver on the west. Abraham Lincoln was a railroad lawyer before running for political office. After he became the 16th President of the United States, he helped the growing railroad industry reach new heights. While dealing with the Civil War, he signed the Pacific Railway Act in 1862, which provided the federal government support for the first transcontinental railroad, which was completed on May 10, 1869. Oakes and Oliver Ames took control of the management and financing of the Union Pacific portion of the railroad at Lincoln's request. Only 12 miles of track were completed prior to their involvement. Oliver was the president of the railroad, while Oakes was a Massachusetts congressman who served as the railroad's point man in Washington, D.C. The Ames brothers, who wanted to take advantage of the government subsidies, purchased control of Credit Mobular, a Pennsylvania corporation to build 667 miles of the railroad. The actual cost to Credit Mobular was $44 million, but the contract, using government subsidized funding, was for more than $94 million. In order to prevent a congressional investigation, a large block of Credit Mobular stock held by Congressman Ames as trustee was sold to influential congressmen for one-third of its actual value. However, the sale did not require actual money. The sales price was paid from the dividends resulting from the profits on the railroad construction. Oaks Ames career was ruined and the railroad was left in sums of debt. The monument and the history are quite breathtaking. While the Ames brothers were involved in the Credit Mobular scandal under President Ulysses S. Grant's administration, the monument reflects the work they and the Union Pacific have done for Wyoming.
Okay, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by and taking in the views with us. I hope you enjoyed everything that you've seen here today. And won't you please rate, comment, and subscribe. And for those of you who do subscribe, please don't forget to tap on the bell icon so that way you'll be alerted to any and all future uploads that I upload to my channel. So with that being said, have a good day everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>